This is Vehicle Legends. It's a vehicle game on Roblox. Today I'll be playing it for this video. The game is owned by Phonebook and established in 2020 after some stuff happened with Wayford. The game is known for being a vehicle simulator spin-off because the vibe is similar. Which I agree with but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a stable game and I'll show it in a minute unlike vehicle simulator. And just a few things are really the same. So kind of a spin-off but not really. The most expensive car is the Devo, it's almost 6 million, and looking at the mesh, it's it's nice, not the best one, it's not like too much that it causes lag, same applies to the other meshes of course, except this one, like we don't talk about that, lighting is nice, it's bright, vivid, but how does it drive, so I got my Porsche GT2 RS out, but I've been driving this car for a few minutes now, I really like it. Because it's simple, stable, and it's also easy to control. Why is it easy to control? Because there's literally no slipping or no losing control in it. Other than cars, they also have planes. It's perfect that they have variation in the game. Variation is really important because that keeps people playing it. So, this is the map. It looks small, but for me it's medium size. It's not like there's a lot of stuff to explore, but other than that, it's a nice map. I've been waiting for like 700 years and finally someone needs to play. I'm excited. I really feel that it's not optimal for this game, like the chassis. My opinion in a nutshell is that this is stable, which is amazing, we really don't notice a lot of bugs. The lighting is vivid and bright and in the night it's not too dark, as you can see here. The meshes are alright, not the best. This also applies to the chassis. So speaking about the map, I would say it's medium sized, which is the only thing I don't like. It can become boring quite quickly because you explore it also quite quickly and then you don't really see the point anymore to cruise around. All these factors combined and you don't even get any lag at all. My FPS rocks at least at 100 or more. This game is pretty much stable in any way. I see balance and I don't see that quite often. It's obviously not perfect, but I would like to see this game develop even more. Personally, I would give this game a 7.3 out of 10. 